Good afternoon everyone. The topic I am going to present is recent advances in crime scene investigation techniques. Crime scene investigation is a process associated with the investigation of a criminal event which involves a systematic process of documenting, collecting, preserving and interpreting physical evidence. These techniques are used to analyze those evidences and these are the few recent advancements in the crime scene investigation techniques. The first is DNA phenotyping wherein one phenotype that is physical appearance such as eye color, hair color, skin color, height, facial features, baldness, age, etc. can be predicted using DNA or the genetic information that is collected from the crime scene. It is also called molecular phenotyping and it is used to find the identities of victims and criminals often in homicidal and sexual assault cases. The advantage of this technique is even a smaller sample can be processed and practically affordable. The next is immunochromatography. Clear identification of soft tissue remains may be visually difficult in cases due to decomposition. In such situations, this technique can be an easy solution to detect human blood and also to differentiate between human and non-human tissues. The third is biosensors in fingerprint analysis. Earlier, biosensors are used to detect suspicious components like body fluid, saliva, etc. Now, this technology is incorporated into fingerprint analysis to analyze minute traces of body fluids in the fingerprints to identify the suspect. Data collected from this includes age, gender, medications, etc. The next one is geolocating a suspect using stable isotopes of the water. This is used to determine where the sample have been originated from by isolating the isotopes in the water sample found on a suspect or victim as isotopes are stable and have unique signature. Hence, this technology helps to reconstruct an individual's geolocational history. The next one is forensic palynology. As we all know, palynology is the study of pollen grains, seeds, spores, etc. This can be used to identify an individual's location and to establish a link between two places, objects, as this provides strong evidence in criminal and civil cases. The next one is cloud forensics. Cloud-based services allow business people and individuals to store extensive data securely and it is convenient and inexpensive. Thus, this technology focused on crimes involving cloud services such as data breaches and thefts. The next one is vehicle forensics. With the popularization of automobiles in people's lives, the function of automobile is not just the transportation but involves the interconnection or communication with all kinds of electronic devices. It uses modern sensors, artificial intelligence, automatic control technologies and so on. There are lots of data that can be collected from vehicle such as speed, location, collision information, communication information, recent destination and etc. which helps to develop the timetable of the events. The next one is social network forensics. There are lots of social network platforms as depicted in this picture are now available or used in every field of life. And this platform have been used in crimes such as hacking, photomorphing, shopping scams, offer scams, dating scams and cyberbullying and etc. So this technology focuses on retrieval of electronic evidences from the social network activities and plays a crucial role in finding the suspect. The next one is 3D technology to determine physical fit. There are cases where we need to find whether two human remains often bones or from the same source which can link locations and also for object reconstruction. Manual physical fit analysis is challenging in cases of fragile sharp human remains. Hence this technology can map the exact dimension of the burnt bones replicate using 3D printers and also this 3D models are suitable and understandable to be shown to a jury in the court of law. The last one is drone forensics. Drones are used for harassment, stalking, smuggling drugs, airport drone cars and warfare and spy in the military as these drones are available in commercial use and the worldwide market growth of the commercial drones are increasing day by day. Hence, analyzing the data from drones to solve cases led to the development of drone forensics. Thus, I would conclude by saying every scene of crime is delicate in its nature that demands to establish what has happened before and to identify the right person involved in that crime. Hence, newer tools that is advancements are useful for better investigation and for solving many criminal cases. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity.